Hi everybody, welcome to the dive brief. Today, a quick brief on basic scuba diving hand signals. Do bear in mind that not all hand signals are universal all the way around the world. So if your hand signals are slightly different to mine, that's perfectly fine, but remember that when you're traveling around the world. Uh, this is why it's important to do a quick run through through your basic hand signals with your diving buddy and the entire dive team right before a dive so that you're all on the same page. So the most fundamental hand signal is, of course, a symbol of our scuba diving community. Um, I know that a few horrible people have tried to make it mean something else, but for us scuba divers, the OK hand sign is a question and an answer to ask if everything is all right with your buddy and then the answer to that is yes everything is okay with me because of this um it becomes a bit of a reflex when someone throws up the okay you go yeah of course i'm okay some divers will actually show the okay and then a number um and then expect that number plus one or two so you'd come back with okay four or whatever um as the reply so that they know that you're actually paying attention and that you actually are okay okay not just mirroring them so sometimes they'll go okay two uh, and you'll come up with okay three whatever it is that you work out with your buddy it's just, just something to uh, make yourself pay attention basically if everything is not all right and okay then there is something wrong tell your buddy that there's something wrong but remember that they're not mind readers point to what's wrong if someone says that something's wrong it could be that they're cold um, they have cramp in their legs, uh, their regulator is malfunctioning. So do your buddy a favor and point to what's wrong and they can probably help you out. Your buddy is a useful hand signal. Uh, that's quite often uh, a very useful signal that you can ask to, where is your buddy? Uh, or if you need to switch buddies, you kind of pull two divers together and tell them to buddy up. Boat as well is uh, another useful hand signal to ask kind of which way is our boat um, or that is our boat just to help navigate and really identify that is our boat up and down are fairly self-explanatory uh, but if you're new to scuba diving it can take a little while to reprogram the thumbs up good instead of okay reflex you ask a lot of brand new divers if everything's okay and they give you the thumbs up they don't mean that they want to ascend it's just okay good is what we're kind of taught but there's more to just a simple thumbs up thumbs down uh, if there's current which is that a closed fist into one of your palms um, one of the best ways to get out of the worst of current is to stick close to the seabed so thumbs down into a uh, bottom or stick close to a wall as well. So that kind of thumb is always basically pointing you which way you're going to go. And it's a good idea to move away from the reef towards the end of the dive so that a boat doesn't have to get too close to that reef to pick you up. So a thumb is basically pointing in which way you're going. If you ever run out of air, nice, big and obvious, but don't hesitate or be polite or picky um, or keep repeating it. Um, just get to the nearest diver and secure something to breathe from. Don't worry too much about giving your hand signal. Uh, another reason why your pre-dive check is essential so that you know which second stage to grab hold of, where it's located on your buddy's body. Um, but the hand signal is, is this. Sticking with air supply, uh, this is the question for how much air do you have left? It's supposed to look like a, a little needle on a pressure gauge. Uh, they're expecting a number in reply, not an okay. I'm sure you hopefully have enough air, but a number is actually much more useful and numbers can be complicated or uh, regional as well. I prefer the precise one handed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then zero. Uh, one through five are upright, six through nine are sideways, and zero is just a circle. Shorthand numbers though, a T can mean 100 bar, closed fist for 50 bar, and then each individual finger after that is 10 bars. So 170 bar would be 150, 60, 70. Um, normally it would just be bum, bum, bum. Um, but personally, I prefer the 170. Um, because uh, a closed fist 
uh, can actually mean a few things, including danger. So it, it can be quite confusing and it can be quite regional as well. So you could turn to your dive master or dive guide and, and give them the one of those and they don't understand it. So personally, I prefer those, those one-handed numbers. Towards the end of the dive, you might see this, uh, which is the suggestion of a safety stop uh, of three minutes at five meters. Um, and when your stop has ended and your computer says that it's good for you to ascend, you kind of wipe over it to say that your, your computer is clear to your buddy. On the surface, we have a couple of different signals because you're usually communicating over a greater distance to boats and other divers on the surface. So the signals are usually a, a lot larger, um, but a bit more succinct. We only have a handful of signals uh, on the surface. So OK, the little OK becomes a big OK, either by touching your head with one hand, a bit like one half of the M from the YMCA, um, or by making a big circle above your head with both hands, that's the okay, because a boat won't be able to see your individual fingers from any great distance. And if there's something wrong, the universal just waving of your hands means that there's something wrong and you probably need some help. And those were some basic hand signals for scuba diving. In the coming weeks, I'm gonna make another video for more advanced hand signals and maybe some themed ones on like different fish or species or, uh, or something. But if you want any in particular, let me know down in the description below. Remember to head over to our Instagram by searching for at Simply Scuba and of course our website, which is just simplyscuba.com. Thank you very much for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving.